Hey guys, it's Rebecca Oberstadt. So I am doing Nicola Walker's tag. It's called Answering Random Funny Questions. And she has 10 questions in her video that she posted today, which was February 4th. And so I copied them into a Word file and I guess I'm, I haven't even read them. I did watch her video, but I'm going to uh, read them off and then answer them. Okay, so question number one. If you could only speak one word today, what would you say? Uh, probably, hmm, cat or coffee, because we we have ten cats in the house. So usually you'll find that I've taken pictures of the cats doing something or a video of them, or I am drinking coffee. The next question is what number two is what is the stupidest thing you've done because someone dared you to uh probably played chicken with a semi and for those that don't know what that is it means basically you run out in the street right in front of the vehicle <laughs> and um you try not to get run over so uh yeah i was a kid and my brother dared me to do it and said I was a chicken if I didn't play chicken so I played chicken and I wasn't chicken he was too scared to do it but I wasn't all right number three if you could lock one person in a mental mental institution who would it be and she said Donald Trump and I have to agree I completely have to agree uh, that he definitely has some mental health issues so I think that that's a really good place for him Number four, you've been given an elephant you can't get rid of, what would you do with it? And I actually shared a, a video of elephants being cute on my Facebook page yesterday and showed it to my dad today and watched like four elephant related videos in a row. So I would probably teach it things and ride it if I if it was big enough and play with it and there was one video of a lady singing to one to put it to sleep so I would probably do all of those things I think elephants are cool and if I had a preference over an Indian elephant versus an African elephant I would want an African elephant because their ears are cuter Number five, would you rather be trapped in an elevator full of men with body odor or three soaking dogs? Or three, sorry, three soaked dogs. Um, don't they smell like the same thing? So, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. I think I would rather the three soaked dogs over men with BO because men depending on what they've eaten and drank for the past day or two um, comes out in their body odor so I think I'd rather have the dog smell because I know what that smells like number six would you rather live permanently in a roller coaster theme park or a zoo and I would have to go with zoo uh, I like animals and I think it would be cool to be around animals 24 7 all right, number seven, you, you're you in the circus. So would you rather be the person with their head inside the lion's mouth or get shot out of a cannon? And to be honest, I'd probably do both. I think doing the cannon thing would be fun, but I'm probably too tall for it. And the lions, well, I, I just think of them as big cats. I'm not afraid of them at all. So I wouldn't mind sticking my head in their mouth either. Number eight, would you rather never be able to express yourself accurately or always have to say the exact truth um i think both of those would be kind of tough because there's times when i kind of sugarcoat stuff for people or i like kind of glaze over things so in order for the having to say the exact truth uh, i think i'd probably hurt some people's feelings uh, or the ability to never express myself accurately. I have that problem now, so it's not really much different. So it would probably be that one since I'm used to it. Number nine, if you could change one thing about your upbringing, what would it be? Uh, there was quite a bit about my upbringing that I liked, but there were quite a few crappy things. It would probably be less abuse. Um, that I think that that would probably be the biggest thing that I would change about my upbringing. But then again, if I changed that, then I wouldn't be the person that I am today. 
So um, maybe knowing better or doing things differently when it came to the various forms of abuse that I went through as a kid would have changed my upbringing quite a bit or just the fact of, you know, when something happened, actually saying something about it instead of not. So I think I'm gonna have to go with that. And then number 10, when things break, do you prefer to fix them or replace them? And I would prefer to fix them. If something is broken, I try and figure out what's wrong with it. I have a bad habit of taking things apart that are broken and get them running again. And then when I put them back together, I have extra pieces. So um, I still do that. But yeah, I would prefer to fix it. If I, if I can fix something that's broken or ripped or torn or destroyed or whatever, if there's a way for me to fix it, I would rather do that than have to spend the money to replace it because that's just how I was brought up. If something broke, Dad fixed it instead of buying something new. If Dad couldn't fix it, we needed a new one. It, that's just how it is. So I was kind of raised the same way. Uh, like with clothing and stuff, if it gets a, a rip or a tear in it, I would rather take the time and darn it or... Um, you know, knit it back together or stitch it in such a way that the hole or tear or whatever doesn't look as bad and then continue to wear it instead of going out and buying something new. So that is the 10 random questions uh, with, I, I, I guess you could say, random funny questions or different questions that Nicola Walker had did on her youtube channel and hopefully you guys like this tag if you want to do this tag then i um i think it's kind of neat i think anybody whether they have a youtube channel or not can answer these 10 questions so if you want to answer them in the comment section down below go ahead i will leave nicola's video link down below and i will also stick it up in the cards as well and if you like these like random tag videos I will leave a poll up here as well for you to answer whether or not you do like them or don't like them. I think they're neat and I've never really done them. So hopefully you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.